this is the deck that won the 2022 Pokemon World Championships. Roll the intro. What is going on everybody, Hitmon Channing here back again with another Pokemon Trading Card Game Online Deck Tech and today I wanted to do a little bit more Worlds coverage, I wanted to cover the deck that won Worlds 2022. Now I hope I'm pronouncing this player's name correctly, this deck was piloted by Andre Skubal, I think that's how I say it, I don't know if it is, I really hope it is, I'm sorry if it's not, but this deck is super cool and it's not really something people expected to win Worlds, you know, some people were, ex most people were expecting Palkia. Some people were expecting like Arceus Charizard box, you know, um, and you know, Arceus was pretty prevalent. People were expecting Arceus Inteleon, but nobody really expected Arceus Flying Pikachu, Hisui and Decidueye V-Star. That's right. This deck is really crazy. We're going to get right into it. So without further ado, here's the deck. It runs a four, what is it? Four, three Arceus V, V-Star line and a two, two Barrel. Uh, line Crobat V and this is where the funky stuff happens 3-2 flying Pikachu you know for your Palkia matchups for your single prizer matchups for your max balloon you know that's a very good attack uh, lightning and two colorless you do 160 and then basic Pokemon can hit you next um, next turn but the kind of the card nobody expected was Hisui and Decidueye V star and it's good for a number of reasons number one Hisui and Decidueye V with close quarters shooting for a fighting and two colorless energy can go through mill tanks and just one shot them because of weakness fairly easily Hisui and Decidueye V star for a fighting and two colorless energy with some salt feathers can one hit KO Arceus V star thanks to weakness and then a couple of players aren't really playing Dunsparce in their list anymore so you know, Sweden Decidue V Star, it's a pretty good call. Also, Star of Fortune is actually very, very powerful as well. This ability allows you to fill your hand to eight cards once per game. You know, pretty standard V Star ability, but it actually is very uh, powerful. If you have a low hand, you just need to get cards. Uh, sometimes it's better than using RCS V Star's Star Birth, which just allows you to get any two cards. Now, this deck functions by basically opting to get an RCS out into play and, you know, doing uh, Trinity Charge or Trinity Nova, whatever you can end up getting first to power up a Flying Pikachu V or a Hisui and Decidueye V, um, depending on your matchup. Now, what else do we play in this deck? We play a single Pump Kaboo to get rid of Stadium, such as Path of the Peak before we Star Birth or before we Dark Asset, Crobat's ability, or before we Luminia Sun with Lumineon. This deck is very supporter heavy and I'll explain that in a bit. But for Pokemon Search, we have a single Evolution Incense, four Quick Ball, and four Ultra Ball. That's basically all we have and that's kind of all we need to get this deck up and running. There's a lot of Pokemon in this deck, 23 uh, to be exact. So you do want to make sure you get your Pokemon set up adequately. Um, and we also play four Path to the Peak just, you know, Four Path to the Peak, that's it. We want to disrupt our opponent as much as possible. That's also evident by the four copies of Marnie. Now, the other four of that is a little bit surprising is actually four bosses orders. A lot of decks will play two to three bosses orders depending on the actual list, you know, if it's an Intellion line or not. But bosses orders, there's just four of them. And basically the way that this deck functions is you want to target down your opponent's, like the, kind of crutches to their deck you want to target them down very aggressively this is such a this is a very aggro deck and it's actually a lot of fun to play for energy it's pretty straightforward we have four dte one capture energy to help us get set up and then three and four fighting it like and electric energy respectively and that's pretty much the list there's raihan and some researches in here nothing else too crazy um you know, nothing else too wild in this list, but this is a lot of fun to play. So without any further ado, let's hop into some games and see if we can get some world championship worthy matches. My opponent is calling the coin flip here with their Garchomp coin. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose. Tails has failed us today. My opponent's gonna opt to go first. Eh, we have an okay hand for, for going second. This isn't that bad because we can get ourselves a, um, RCS V and hopefully a double turbo energy, but we're gonna be playing against Mew or at least some sort of fusion strike deck. And oh, it's gonna be Mew and they have a great setup already with the battle VIP pass in hand. 
And we're gonna have a quick ball to get another Genesect, most likely getting rid of a Rose Tower now. Hopefully we can get an early path to the peak Marty combo off to like really set my opponent back. That's already one stadium gone. Not sure if they play Pumpkaboo, but they're really getting a very aggressive setup going here. And now the optimal um, target for this, uh, what's it called? The optimal target for an attacker might just be flying Pikachu and we might have to try and aggro something down. Uh, we'll have to take a look and see. We can maybe hit the Genesex if we can get a fully powered up Arceus going with no double turbo, but I don't know how that's going to do. Um, they aren't going to be able to do an Elisa's this turn, and it looks like they don't have an energy attachment. So we actually might be in good standing if they don't attach an energy, but oh, they're going to escape rope into a Mew, I'm guessing, so they can retreat if they need to. And they're going to Ultra Ball thin two power tabs out of their hand. This is very, very good for us, which is we're going to allow us to survive a hit. And we do see a fusion strike energy, so that Melowetta is going to be a little bit of an issue. But we get Arceus down right away. And now I don't know if I want to Ultra Ball anything away here. I might just Marnie and hope for the best. Maybe get a. I really don't like getting rid of the bosses, but I kind of need to. We'll get rid of Pikachu and a boss's orders. Thin the deck a little bit. We kind of got to get a Bidoof down. Let's take a look and see what we have. We have Switch. We got our paths in there. We have. Uh, Two, three bosses total. We got a DTE, so I think this might be the play. We're just gonna have to go and Marnie here. We really just need a double turbo energy and path to the peak combo. We get a capture energy, and that's really not what we want to see, but maybe we can at least get set up a little bit more. My opponent has three Mews in play, which is actually pretty good for us um, because we can just hit it with Trinity Nova. So to get started here, I think I'm gonna want to get another Bidoof down just so we can prepare um now realistically my opponent is going to be taking a knockout so we're just going to retreat into Bidoof and done so they don't take two prizes if they take two prizes they can just target down their v's but they're going to have a choice belt doesn't really matter you know if they go in with the Meloetta, that's fine they can take out a Bidoof they won't be able to fusion they won't be able to uh, alisa sparkle and boss orders at the same time no path is a little unfortunate because that really would have messed up their play here but they're going through their deck very quickly you know as mew does but we'll have to look and see what my opponent is able to come up with here getting another choice belt on the board my opponent is going to keep fusion strike systeming in order to you know hopefully find a way out of this there is the elisa sparkle coming out so they're going to be able to get that meloetta powered up but if they don't have a Mew VMAX, which it doesn't look like they do banking their energy on the on the Meloetta, we can take that down and they are going to have all fusion energy on the board here, which is good for us because this gives us a lot of options to target down this Mew, taking out two fusion strike energy in play. And they won't be able to knock us out with anything. They have the Rose Tower in play. So we have the path to the peak though, which is exactly what we want to see. Uh, I think all we need to do, we can get rid of these and we can path Marty them just right now because uh, we have it in hand. We need to grab ourselves an Arceus B star. We'll grab the rainbow one. And I think I know exactly what we're going to do. We are going to star birth, grabbing ourselves a double turbo energy. And we're not going to Marty them because we're actually going to boss's orders up that Mew right there. Completely kind of destroying it. Just gonna boss this guy up. We'll Rose Tower for one. Just to be safe. We get a Pipperol. Okay, that really works. That helps me out. We'll path that and treat into this RCS. We'll even Industrious Incisors now for four because we can absolutely use them. We have a sweet decision. Why we don't really need that though in this matchup uh, because it's weak. We don't want to put a weakness Pokemon out there. But we're gonna Trinity Nova taking out a Mew and we can actually get this. Flying Pikachu fully set up. We'll save a fighting energy in case we need it. But for our next turn, Flying Pikachu is going to help us out quite a bit. And we're taking out this Mew. And now the whole goal of this deck is to just aggro down our opponent's Pokemon. Which we can actually do. If my opponent doesn't involve both Mews, we can Pumpkin Pit, Pumpkaboo, get rid of this. Lumineon, find a boss, bring up a Mew. They don't keep one, obviously. And then... KO it and like, play a path down again because we have path in hand. And then, you know, KO it. They're going to Silene for one card. It's most definitely going to be a Fusion Strike Energy back on top of the deck. 
uh, but that Meloetta still won't be able to KO us. And really, all we need to do is we've got two bosses gone, two bosses in deck. We really just need to boss, 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 and we win the game. Simple as that. Then go into that Meloetta, you know. Uh, if they can't Fusion Strike System, they can't draw. They can hit us for 140, but that's it. My opponent is just going to concede the game. Not much they can do against the World Championship winning deck. My opponent calling the coin flip here. Unfortunately, Tails has failed us again, and we lost. So, my opponent is going to go first. They have no basics. We have a decent hand. A double turbo would make it actually a lot better. But even going second, this is a pretty good hand. Mew Sleeves and Juniper deck box. What could they be playing? It looks like, I don't know what this is with the metal energy. Maybe it's a Mew something? I don't know. I really don't know what they're playing here. But we're going to have to wait and see. Regardless, I think we're going to do pretty well against this. We're absolutely going to draw one more card. Another Lightning Energy is not what we want to see. And there's a Meloetta coming out. So, very well could be a... With the Battle VIP pass. I think it's a Mew variant. I don't know why there's the Metal Energy in there. Maybe for a Genesect, it could just be straight Meloetta. But I don't think that's very good in Standard, personally. We'll have to wait and see um, what my opponent decides to play. It is a Mew... It is Mew. I don't know why there's metal energy in here, but it, it is Mew. Um, so my opponent is going to start their setup. And you know, this deck is, it, this matchup is very straightforward, but you have to be very smart and aggressive. It's basically just boss KO, boss KO, boss KO. That is what we aim to do. We don't have any choice belts in here, so we can't one shot those Genesects because the max damage we can do with a double turbo is 180. But it doesn't look like a lot coming from my opponent. We have another Arceus that we can bench and get set up. We're going to quick ball away this laning energy and grab ourselves. I think flying Pikachu will be optimal. And we're gonna have to Marnie ourselves. We're really hoping for that double turbo energy right now. Um, so we can power up flying Pikachu. We don't get it, but we know Crobat is in the deck. So we can try our best to find it. Crobatting for four could help us out just a little bit. We're gonna try and do it right here see if we can get anything get another energy we do not get the uh what's it called we do not get the double turbo but that's okay my opponent it's very possible that they have you know the tools to go ahead but we're gonna path them right now worst case they bump it um and we can't use our v star but i think we'll attach this to the bench so it forces them to pick a scenario and then we're just gonna pass we have the v max and v star and marnie in our hands so we're pretty solid i am confident we'll find a double turbo energy next turn and a way to switch out but that path of the peak can really screw them up this attach a fusion strike energy and that very well might be their turn they have the switch so maybe they're going to energy mixer here or psychic leap we'll have to see what they decide they do have the training court though and they can't eat they can only draw one card off this it's got to be something big if they want to uh if they want to do any chunk of damage here but that's why i decided to put the path because in order for them to continue they have to bump it and if we left it here you know like it wouldn't really have mattered either way they can bump the path and it gives us star birth access or they don't bump the path and we're just ahead of them but they're gonna energy mix and probably put a fusion strike energy on mellow water or maybe it could be that metal energy going onto the genocide we're really not gonna know until my opponent completes their action they're putting fusion strike on mellow and we're in a very very good spot right here so we can arceus we can flying pikachu we can star birth here grab ourselves a switch and a double turbo energy just make sure that's exactly what we want i believe so we have the other energy in deck and we have the marnie here um probably gonna get us the path so we can just do this we can actually take this mute out right here and i think i'm actually going to i don't want to marnie my opponent because i already have a small hand so i'm gonna train court this here ultra ball away the marnie and the lightning energy and grab myself a industrious incisors gentleman in forms of the barrel and now we're gonna switch into rcs v star and industrious incisors for clean five cards grabbing ourselves evolution incense marnie research i think we're okay just like this uh we're gonna take this knockout here my opponent's gonna have less fusion strike pokemon in play so we might have to do that we should even set up another flying pikachu um as a backup and force him to go for a 233 which i think we might do no need to marnie trinity nova right here taking out mu v 
and we'll get I think this is how we're gonna format our energy we'll get a lightning here we'll get a lightning here and we'll get a fighting here now my opponent the balls in their court we're taking two clean prizes decidueye is not needed double turbo can help us a lot because double turbo works with flying pikachu v and v max so we can double turbo right there my opponent's got meloetta coming out to play but i am not actually that worried because max balloon prevents damage from basic pokemon which they can hit us but they won't be able to do much um they're gonna go for a self bump in rose tower getting that one extra card hoping to find something that can get them out of this dead draw scenario but i think we've disrupted them to enough to a point where they can't really do too much we can just retreat this arceus into flying pika and then that's it we don't really need to we kind of just locked my opponent out of the game there and they give the victory to the world championship deck so what do you think of andre scubal's world championship winning deck i think this deck is a lot of fun i mean it's a world it's it won worlds so there really isn't anything uh you know that i can say to like change or anything i do have a few personal suggestions uh that i might change just for myself that i find i'm running into these situations a lot and this these specific cards would help me out immensely so i'm gonna go through all that right now but this deck is actually very very straightforward if you look at the list of cards every card serves a purpose and this deck has a super super clear strategy now the one card there's probably you know one or two cards i think that i would opt to change in here first off i would opt to get a hisuian heavy ball so you can search out things like your pumpkaboo or your luminion or your crobat that may be prized if you need them because sometimes you're going to need them. Sometimes just Starbirth, even though it's so powerful, it's not enough. You need two specific cards. The Suyan Heavy Ball guarantees that you will be able to get this card if it's prized, whether it be Luminion or Pumpkaboo for whatever reason, or, you know, Crobat. You're guaranteed that if you have a Suyan Heavy Ball. Now, at the same time, getting Pumpkaboo out, like, if it's prized and you need to get rid of Path, um, is a struggle like even with heavy ball you have to draw into it but because of our 2-2 bib barrel line i think you will be more than fine uh finding that out to it and the other card that i want to add in here is a choice belt i think having a choice belt in here really helps your ability to just knock out basic v after basic v because if you think about it you're doing 200 you know but 180 with a double turbo and you're almost always going to have a double turbo on rcs v star so you can do 180 damage which is enough to knock out like mu v and that's about it but if you want to take out something else having that choice belt bringing you up to 210 if you want to take out something like an ice rider v or like a i don't know a, one of these smaller v's like a crobat v you can't even well you know you can knock out crobat v never mind i'm talking out of my bum hole um but if you want to take out a smaller v pokemon like even like flying pikachu flying pikachu is very prevalent now so if you wanted to take that out you wouldn't be able to or even like a gen effect or something you know you would need that choice belt so depending on what you play against you know in your area or online whatever you find you're playing against a lot i say getting that choice belt in there is very powerful you can even maybe take out a flying pikachu v in order to fit that in uh or you can even get rid of like a cap the capture energy something like that but the deck i would say is like if it's not perfect it's close to perfect you want to keep the four boss you want you don't want you're not doing anything fancy you're really just countering your opponent's ma uh matchup and then the w one other card i might want to add but you're really changing the fundamentals of the deck is a crobat v max because I mean, really, it depends how much you play against Mew. This deck kind of slaughters Mew in the sense that as long as you can consistently find your bosses, you're pretty much just always winning the game. Like, it doesn't really matter. You can find you can, you can find three bosses, you just need to KO three, three Vs in a row. Or a VMAX, uh, Meloetta, and, you know, a Genesect or something. You're always finding those cards. And the thing is, you're not going to be one-shotting Genesects with any of these attacks unless you have a fully powered up Arceus but you have to plan for that you really have to plan ahead with this deck and see what is going on but this deck is so much fun to play and those are the three small adjustments that I might make um, in order to you know fully cover every single base possible uh, but yeah you know with all that said and done like this video if you enjoyed comment down below what do you think of the world championship winning deck here I think it is super super fun to play super super powerful and depending on your matchups that you tend to verse this deck can basically be anything 
um, and you don't really need you don't really need a whole lot. This deck is, you know, relatively cheap. The most expensive part is the Arceus's, but everything else you can find in this deck for like really, really, uh, very, very inexpensive. The Arceus's make up the bulk of the cost of this deck. Uh, and comment down below, you know, what do you think of this deck? Uh, what do you, what would you change? What would you keep? And have you played it before? You know, I know the deck is kind of just the list just came out not too long ago, but. You know, try out this deck and let me know your thoughts. And last but not least, subscribe to the channel. I have more Pokemon trading card game content coming out every single week. So, two times a week, Pokemon TCG content right here on the Hitmonchanning channel. Make sure you don't miss it. And with all that said and done, Hitmonchanning out.